The RS-26 Rubas is one of Russia's most talked about missile systems, often described as a bridge between an intermediate range ballistic missile IRBM and a light intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM. Developed by the Moscow Institute of Thermal Technology, the RS-26 is seen by many defense analysts as a more mobile, versatile, and potentially cost-effective evolution of the RS-24 Yars. While its official classification has been the subject of debate, the RS-26 is widely regarded as a strategic asset designed to provide Russia with a credible deterrent against both regional and intercontinental threats. What sets the RS-26 apart is its combination of compact size, long-range, and advanced warhead options. Reportedly capable of traveling between 5,500 and 6,000 kilometers, it occupies a unique position in the missile spectrum. This range means it can strike targets deep within Europe, parts of Asia, and even certain regions of North America from launch sites inside Russian territory. Its classification as an ICBM rather than an IRBM is significant because it allowed Russia to avoid restrictions from the now-defunct Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces INF Treaty, which banned ground-launched ballistic missiles with ranges between 500 and 5,500 kilometers. By extending its range slightly beyond that limit, the RS-26 effectively sidestepped treaty constraints while still focusing on regional deterrence capabilities. The RS-26 is designed to be road mobile, mounted on a transporter erector launcher telephone vehicle that provides high mobility and quick redeployment. This mobility makes the missile much harder to detect, track, and target compared to fixed silo systems. In an era of advanced surveillance and precision strike capabilities, mobility is a decisive factor for survivability. Russian sources claim the telephone can operate on rough terrain and relocate rapidly after launch preparations, greatly reducing vulnerability to a preemptive strike. One of the missile's most notable features is its warhead configuration. The RS-26 is believed to be capable of carrying multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, each with its own nuclear warhead. This allows a single missile to strike multiple targets or saturate missile defense systems. The warheads are reportedly maneuverable, potentially capable of evasive maneuvers during re-entry to make interception more difficult. Some reports suggest the system could also deploy advanced decoys or countermeasures to further complicate enemy defenses. If true, this would make the RS-26 not just a threat because of its range and destructive power, but also because of its resilience against interception. Technologically, the RS-26 leverages advancements in solid fuel propulsion, which allows for faster launch readiness and reduced maintenance requirements compared to liquid-fueled systems. Solid fuel also enables a cold launch system where the missile is ejected from the launch tube before ignition, protecting the telephone from blast damage and making rapid follow-up launches possible. This contributes to both the operational flexibility and the safety of the missile's handling. Strategically, the RS-26 offers Russia a versatile tool for both deterrence and political signaling. Its range and deployment flexibility make it suitable for responding to threats from multiple directions, including NATO's European members, potential adversaries in Asia, and even distant strategic targets. Because it can fulfill roles traditionally associated with both IRBMs and ICBMs, it gives Russian planners more options without expanding the overall missile inventory excessively. This dual capability also adds an element of uncertainty for opponents, who must account for the possibility that an RS-26 launch could be aimed at either a nearby or distant target. Internationally, the RS-26 has generated concern among military analysts and policymakers. Critics argue that it blurs the lines between strategic and theater nuclear weapons, making arms control more difficult. Its ability to bypass the restrictions of the INF Treaty, before that treaty's collapse, was seen as a sign of Russia's willingness to push the boundaries of existing agreements. With the treaty no longer in effect, the RS-26 could be deployed more openly, potentially fueling a new phase in the missile arms race. While exact deployment numbers remain unclear, Russian officials have indicated that the RS-26 was designed with cost-effectiveness in mind, enabling larger-scale production if needed. However, as with many modern Russian defense projects, there have been reports of shifting priorities and possible delays due to budgetary or strategic reassessments. Still, the missile's successful tests, including launches from the Placets Cosmodrome to the Kura test range in Kamchatka, demonstrate its operational viability. The RS-26 Rubas stands as a symbol of modern missile development's blend of mobility, precision, and adaptability. By combining the portability of a shorter-range missile with the reach of an ICBM, 
it challenges traditional categorizations and complicates strategic planning for adversaries. Whether viewed as a defensive deterrent or an escalatory threat, the RS-26 represents a significant evolution in ballistic missile technology and a clear statement of Russia's commitment to maintaining a flexible, survivable nuclear arsenal in a rapidly changing security environment. Its existence ensures that it will remain a subject of close observation, analysis, and debate for years to come.